In this video, we'll see how to merge and unmerge different cells into your Excel sheet. Now, usually what we do is, for example, I've taken some data here. That's an employee database. If you see the name, age, city, and the country I've given, and, and I've written some names. Now, usually if I want to give this heading, okay, I, if I want to merge this data, what do I do is, I select the cells and I can click on this merge and center part. So all the cells gets merged and get into center part. If I want to unmerge, usually what I do is, I'll just click on this place and it will be unmerged. What if I want to do it with the help of this Excel macros? How do I do that? Very simple and easiest method. So the first thing is I'll open the Excel macro here. Yeah, that's a VBA editor. And these are the names of the sheets and these are the modules. I'll minimize the sheets here. The last one, if you see O underscore merge underscore, that is unmerge, merge un unmerge. I've created a module here. Okay, inside that module, I've written here a sub procedure that is merge unmerge. And if I want to merge some cells, I want to merge A1 to D1. So what I've written is range A1 to D1 dot merge. That's it. If I want to unmerge, I'll just write as range A1 to D1 and unmerge. That's it. nothing else I have to do. Now, if I want to see whether it's working fine or not, I can execute that step by step. If I just click on this inside the code and if I click on this step into, okay, if I click on this step into, observe what will happen. If I click on step into, this line will be executed. Again, if I click on step into, okay, observe this area will be merged click on step into now you see employee database entire it has been merged from a1 to d1 if i want to unmerge simply write range a1 to d1 and unmerge i'll just click on step into and finally if you see it has been unmerged and i can just come out of the loop itself uh, it's a sub procedure right so i hope you're able to understand how we can work on the merge and unmerge of cells into your excel with the help of macros that's all for this video